to multiply a fraction by a whole number, multiply the numerator by the whole number, then change your answer to a mixed number. So basically, if we have 3 quarters times 5, we do the same thing and get the same answer as if we had 3 quarters of 5, with fractions times and of are basically the same thing. So we multiply 3 by 5, which gives us 15, and then 15 quarters as a mixed number is 3 and 3 quarters. So we can see how this works, because here we have 3 quarters. Now we're multiplying by 5, so we have 3 quarters 5 times. And if we regroup to make complete rectangles, you can see that we now have 3 whole rectangles and 3 quarters of another rectangle. So what is 2 thirds times 6? So we're doing 2 times 6, that gives us 12, and 12 over 3 is the same as 12 divided by 3, so it's exactly 4. So you can see that if you have 2 thirds and multiply by 6, you can regroup to make exactly 4. Now to multiply a mixed number by a whole number, you change the mixed number to an improper fraction, put the whole number over 1, then multiply, then change your answer to a mixed number. There are a lot of steps in that, so let's break it down with an example. To start, we need to change our mixed number 2 and 3 quarters into an improper fraction. So that's 11 quarters. We're multiplying by 3, and most teachers want you to write 3 over 1. That's to remind you that you only multiply the numerator by 3, not the denominator. If you were to multiply the denominator by 3 as well, all you would be doing is finding an equivalent fraction. So we multiply the 11 by 3, but keep the 4 as it is. That gives us 33 over 4, which we can change back into a mixed number, because 33 divided by 4 is 8 remainder 1. So our answer is 8 and a quarter. Now let's show this visually. You start with 2 and 3 quarters, so you start with 11 quarters. You multiply by 3, so we now have 3 lots of 2 and 3 quarters. But if we regroup to make whole rectangles, you can see that we now have 8 whole rectangles and 1 quarter of another one. Here's a trick which you can use only when you're multiplying by a mixed number. You can simplify by cancelling a numerator and a denominator, which means finding a factor of both numbers and dividing by that factor. Again, this sounds confusing, so let's break it down with an example. We have 2 and a quarter times 6. As always, when we're multiplying by a mixed number, we change it to an improper fraction. So 2 and a quarter is the same as 9 quarters. We're multiplying by 6, which we can write as 6 over 1. But now we get to cross-cancelling. 4 and 6 are both in the 2 times table. So we can divide them both by 2. So we now have 9 halves times 3, or times 3 over 1. But that will give us the same answer. So 9 times 3 is 27, 2 times 1 is 2. So now we just need to change it back into a mixed number. So we have 13 and a half. 
So let's show you how this works. There's two and a quarter, or nine quarters. And we're multiplying by six, so there's two and a quarter, six times. Now we can regroup to fill up rectangles. So you can see that we now have 13 full rectangles and then two quarters of another one. But remember, two quarters is equivalent to one half. So 13 and a half is the correct answer. So now pause the video and see if you can answer these questions. Remember to change the mixed number to an improper fraction and simplify where you can. 5 and 1 sixth is the same as 31 over 6, times 9, which we can write as 9 over 1. Now 9 and 6 are both in the 3 times table, so we can cross simplify. And now we can multiply to get 93 over 2. 93 divided by 2 is 46 remainder 1, so as a mixed number, 46 and a half. Now here, 2 and 1 third is the same as 7 thirds. Multiply by 7 over 1. We can't cross simplify here because 7 isn't in the 3 times table. So we just do the multiplication and then 49 divided by 3 is 16 remainder 1. So 16 and a third. Finally, 4 and 7 tenths as an improper fraction is 47 tenths. And we're multiplying by 2, so 2 over 1. We can cross simplify here because 10 and 2 are both in the 2 times table. So now we can multiply we get 47 over 5, so as a mixed number, that's 9 and 2 fifths.